Romans, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal, by, by the renewing of your mind, that ye may be, that ye may be, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh? I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushah Bashem Kapodash. The Wadi Yahbashem Yahushah for giving us the apostles and the elders a great millstone who deserve the honors rightfully so. Shalom to the Akim, preaching the word of sincerity and the truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come and what is to come. Race wars, famine, concentration camps, long far teaching, the mark of the peace. 200 million missiles in the soils of America. Simultaneously, the terrorists of the Lord lifted the whole full lack into the chambers. Simultaneously, the terrorists of the Lord shooting laser beams to ungodly and heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, Albarat desire the Lord take the course of this video. Just a best from seeking salvation on this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all of the filthy customs that I've taken upon. Right now, the time is 10.36 p.m. Tuesday, October 8th, 2024, the whole full year of Jacob's trouble. And now we're down to the wire. Um, I just, um, just waking up. You know, a long day. You know, sometimes at night I run out. Try to make some shekels, you know, some ends meat, some, some daily bread, you know, to get through the next day, you know, get some food, whatever. Uh, so, um, what was the first, I can't remember the first word I, that I was thinking about, right? Um, so, I was looking up a few meanings of words. Alright, so, I end up at this word, um, this word, um, I totally forgot which word led me here, but this is the word I ended up with. I'm about to, I, I could go backwards. Hold on. Unconventional. Unconventional. That's the word I ended up with. So the name, the meaning of this word unconventional is not based on conforming to what is generally generally done or believed not based on what is conform conforming conforming to what is generally done or believed so um so let me do this verse here um actually i had the first first verse when I jumped down and I said, wow, I saw this unconventional, the conforming. And then I said, wow, they go hand in hand with this verse. And this is us. Um, not conforming to this world. We are unconventional. You know? We are, um, we are actually walking in the light of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. We move it different. You know, and it generally shows through the brotherhood. It generally shows through the brotherhood how we move. Because the worldly people, they don't move like that with each other. They always, as you see it now, nobody's standing side by side by Diddy. Okay? Everybody moved away. You know? And that's why I say, um, you know, it's, um, You know, how the scripture says, it says, um, let brotherly love continue and, um, take care of one another. That's how it shall say. And that's what we do. See, when you're doing wickedness, you, you don't want to get caught in your wickedness, man. You know, that's what the world, but did he, he got caught and you don't see, um, I remember seeing all the individuals together in suits. You know, we had, um, 
you know, Jay-Z, um, DJ Cali, um, a lot of pe- people in the, in the, they was all hanging out with Puffy Hank, putting their glasses in the air, showing love when they all, <laughs> when nobody's in jail. That's how you know it's wicked. That's how you know wickedness is done. Because nobody, if, if it was honor, let all these things, um, um, take care of one another. Um, let brotherly love continue. If you're brotherly love, right, if just true brotherly love, they're, they're to stand side by side with the brother. Right? The so-called brother, right? Because he's not, something's wrong. So we are doing something unconventional. You know, things that's not based upon as well. We are we are, we are truly with brotherly love. You know? Um what's that scripture? Yahweh Shah. This is Yahweh Shah, right? Um let's see if I can Just going over, let me see if I can get a word. True friend mean. Just going, you know. Um, this is just a true friend is someone who is honest supposed supportive and here for you through life ups and downs some qualities of a true friend includes that was just um You know, that's that's a true friend. Um, and Yahweh Shah was a true friend, was a true brother. And he did exactly what um a true friend would do, lay down his life. You know? And that's what we are learning to do for one another. Hey, I, I tell you this, you know, when I was in the world I always stuck by my, you know, my friends, my brothers, you know, and I've seen, <laughs> I've seen countless times back when I was in the world that, you know, I've seen, um, even if you, if you didn't do nothing wrong to them, you know, if they grind me, they'll turn against you. And how it seems like in this, in this whole scenario that's happening, it's showing to only through Jake how it's, they, they threw us in the front line, man. It's a sad thing to, um, to say, right? Oh, why are you saying that? It's true. Your know, Esau don't want to ha- don't want to show their wickedness, man. So by us not conforming to this world, we are learning how to um, take care of one another. Okay, that's what's happening, and you see that through the apostles. You know, even um, you know. Um, what our apostle Tahar say? What our apostle Tahar, he always say that, you know, Ari and them is going off at this point, right? But if they was ever caught in the jam, he would um he would tell the brothers, oh, gather us some money so we could help uh around um Ari Al, Elder Ari right? Because I truly believe that Apostle Tahar is genuine, you know, and um. Sincere, because you can see the work, um, his work ethic speaks. Okay, and he's telling you exactly what you should be doing for your safety. From not from him or not from um, not even from this world, but from Yahweh Shmuel Shah. Because if you work out your own salvation with fear and tremble, right? Let's get that verse real quick.
Work out your salvation with fear and tremble. Bible verse, King James Version. Let's go this way real quick. Yeah, Philippians. One of my favorite verses too. Just want to see something. Genuine words. Right, so that's Get this in let's go to um KJ. Let's go to um blue letter. So we get a couple. Oh, boy. Sheesh. So laggy, I'm just waking up. Uh. Based on this verse right here, the words is genuine. All right. um, it says, um, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my present only, but much more in my absence. Work out, see, the few words in before we got to that, what I was saying, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But in the beginning part of that verse tells you, don't be faking no funk in front of me. Don't, 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 my eyes ain't the eyes you have to worry about. That's a genuine verse based on how um, Apostle, Kata, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Kabar, Apostle Rakar, Apostle Ramla, and the Elder Akim from Connecticut all the way down to the, to the Akim and, and the sincere brothers, don't, don't, um, don't try to, in their front of their eyes, don't try to be somebody that you know that you do behind the scenes. Come, don't be that. Behind it, don't be be the same from behind it in front of the scenes or behind the scenes. Be the same because the eyes of the Lord is ten times brighter than the sun, beholding every man. You know, All right? So it says Philippians chapter twelve, chapter two, verse twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my present only, but much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's what you have to do. You got when you go home and you leave camp or you at camp or whatever, you ride in the road, you should always think of your how much you shot. You should always think, um what brother I don't know what brother said that. I think um um he said uh do what the apostles do. Act, content, um, be like the apostles. Most and foremost, be like, most of all, most of all, be like the house shop. You know? Be harmless as a dove, wise as a serpent. Um, be a sheep, be a lamb. Because we cannot, one thing we can't do is um, beat this world without, yeah, without the, the the mindset in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah in your um in your mind, how they would conduct themselves, their will. Cause I know for a fact, for me personally, like I, I was just so many thoughts I was coming come to my mind before I turned the video on, and it's now when it's down to where I don't I'm about to decide this this video will be guided, you know. It's just mostly, most of all, when you when you reading the verses, you you, you put yourself in that situation. You know, and do and then um, and realizing after all this, you know, coming out of the world, you see the world really don't care now. Everything that you talked, we talked about, from what we was taught, is we are, we are um it all experiencing. And it's very spiritual how this year was named the year of Jacob's trouble. 
right? Let's get that version of fast. Jacob's Trouble, Bible verse, King James Version. Right. It's a word in here, just, just come to my mind, I just want to see it. Right? At last, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, at last, for that day is great. What day? These, 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 um, these, these um, troubles that's coming. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. What's about that? If, oh, let me see. Let me, I was just watching this video, right? We're going to come back to that. Let me see something. I just saw this video. This lady was like, it seemed like through the spirit world she was being spoken to. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can find this video. I just saw this video. She just said, Salaka, she just said something in this video, you know, just for um, identification's sake, right? And, you know, this one of the brothers, you know, just used one of his videos, but she said that something is coming, right? Right? The name of this video is Esau World is Going to End. All right. And we don't know, um, we know it's coming. We know we at, we at the end time, right? That's clear indication. For all the information that's coming out, all the things that's happening around the flooding, that's all signs of the time of the world uh, coming to an end. Okay? And then you're going to know the prophet's been among you. Because it's going to show through, it's showing, everything the prophet has been speaking it's showing now. Now this woman right here, she's like an average woman. You know, she don't look like, you know, someone. She probably didn't, two or five years ago, she probably didn't, when she passed the brothers walking down the block, she probably didn't roll her eyes at them. You know, and I've seen that tons of time with women, fine ass women, ugly ass women, you know, women with strollers, all types of women. I'm just saying, there's usually women right now, right? Even men, they walk past talking shit, or they 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 with their woman, and now all hell's breaking loose, right? Right now, those women are like they're gonna be like this because the scriptures are gonna the scriptures are saying it. The scriptures are saying that one woman, I mean, seven seven women would take hold of one man, and the, now. So women that was going to these restaurants with these men and they, they men wasn't out there on the highways and hedges, they ain't got the um they ain't got the hedge, the edge, the um protection from Yahbash for for from Yahbash Shah around them. So now they realize they with the wrong men. This for woman right she like she probably passed us tons of time, like one of these type of women. We was doing something unconventional, right? Something that was not conforming to the to to the world. On a Saturday, we out there. On a rainy day, we out there standing. A snowy day, making our life, making our bodies a living sacrifice. And then we see these people passing us, talking shit. I remember those days. I remember one lady said, "Go get a job." I remember one person. I was I was reading. <laughs> You can't read. <laughs> Y'all remember that day, yo? Like yesterday, bro. I was standing with the with the, the brother. He's not in truth no more, but he was out there in the highways, man. I, I I didn't, yo. Still to this day, I don't care, bro. Like, cause I seen things, man. And and the more I was seeing, the more I was compelled to do it. Because I'm talking about heavy, heavy dreams, bro. Heavy dreams. I don't know. I I can't even explain it. I, so, and and I truly believe these type of dreams. I'm going. It's going to be played out. It's going to come to the forefront. Cause a lot of my dreams was like that, right? 
You know, still to this day, um, after I say it like this, after the dream come come to reality and it's played out, I don't have the dream no more. But over and over, I would have certain dreams until it happens. Some parts I can remember, some part I can't. Or they be in different scenes, and they or they played out. Or I, I, damn, why did I did this before? Deja vu. So, yeah. So this is her. She's like, let's listen to what she says. Y'all, there is something terrible about to happen. And I'm not just talking about in Florida. I'm talking about everywhere. I'm talking about I was putting up my groceries, I want to say an hour ago, and I heard a loud pitch ringing in my ear where I literally stopped in my tracks. I couldn't do anything else. I stopped in my tracks. I feel like it's the end of the world. Like I feel like the apocalypse is coming in. All right, so this woman right here, she could probably, you know, probably pass the brothers tons of time looking at it, waving their hand. But now, um, things is regular people is, is experiencing things that things we talked about, that we prophesied about. The scripture said, um, um, uh, hold on. I'm gonna come back around. Um, I know. Visions. Um, oh, sloppy. I can't even think how to word it. Jeez. Should I have dreams? I may mess this up right here. Sons and daughters should have dreams, Bible verses. Block me. I couldn't think of it. I just go the first word that, that makes that notice in the, in the verse. So, um. Because uh, we having these, um, our, um, because um, there is dreams, visions. And I be having, I be walking sometimes. I see like a, man, I see like a hologram around me, like a whole scene. I'm not, I'm, yeah, that happened when I was driving. That shit is scary as shit. Like, I have to see things, like tons of visions, of crazy stuff. I think I was crazy. But now I'm realizing I'm not crazy after all. <laughs> Work. So, you know, I, I realize that now. So, this through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, based upon um, what's what's being, what I'm learning now, and all this other stuff, they try so much to hide the truth, but think of it not strange. Yeah, Yahweh Shah could have put a strong delusion in my mind. But I see right now, I see individuals that's really crazy out here, and I don't feel crazy. Because we're unconventional. You know? Uh, 
Um, Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And it should come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And that's what's happening, man. That young girl, you know, like I told you, man, it's going to be a lot. Of, you don't know. When you see these men in the Lord's office, you know, when you see these men out on the highways and hedges, and they probably doing these things, and you know, talk crap to them and whatever, you don't know. You don't know your demise. You know? So, there's a lot right there. It's a lot, it's a lot going on right now. This year is not even over yet. This year is not even over yet. That's why I always say stay prayed up. I was talking about the little one pray, pray for protection. Cause she said it. It's, it's gonna be the apocalypse. Yo, and we know the script what the scripture says, these women are at ease. You all um laxy daisy putting your makeup on, forgetting about the cares of, of what's going on. Always inhaling something, smoking something, you know. Not paying attention to the man of the Lord. Year five, ten years, six, seven years ago, right? They was talking shit out there. I remember on 34th Street, man. I was 14th Street too. I remember <laughs> it was out there, man. I, I remember that was that was 2010, man. Oh man. I was like, people was talking hella mess, man. And I, I remember seeing all the visions, man. All these visions. And I was I was more terrified of um of of not um not getting it, you know, or losing something. And the most important thing I didn't want to lose was how about Shimon Shah name. I remember that name every time you we were here at the beginning of the Elder Brothers Apostles videos, you hear him say Shalom, you know. And they say the Lord's name. And then they kept say, everything kept being explained about other camps, man. How they was not pushing the name. And then they started revealing. People, and then it says, don't be dismayed. Right? How did that verse go? It's a verse. Don't be dismayed. Bible verse. King James Version. Right? <clears throat> this is just one of I think this is the one. This is the one. It says, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear not, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea. I will uphold thee, yea, I will, no, I will, Salakia, fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, so there you go, man, <laughs> And the words jumped in my mind is, and, and don't be dismayed. What did the word dismay mean, right? Let's see something. Else. Let's right? Um, it says dismay, right? Dismay. Dismay. Cause someone or feel, cause someone to feel What's this word? Consternation. Consternation. That feeling of anxiety or dismay, typically at some unexpected, unexpected, something unexpected. Consternation. Consternation. Say it again. Consternation. Consternation. Uh, dismay. Disquiet, distress, 
anxious. It's a lot here. What's this one? Shook up. Disconcert. Disconcert. Disturb the compulsive of uns uncertain, unsettled. All right. And this world will make you feel like that. You know? It'll make you feel this way. It'll make you feel uncomfortable, unsettled. Right? On the man. Right. What's this word? Discompose. Discompose, disturb, or. Urgent. Just pull on my words. Agitate. Agitate. This world could agitate you, man. You know, everybody doing. I remember it was meditating. Yeah, I, I was just watching old videos of the camps. Abra says, ah, I don't need this truth, man. That you don't kick me out or anything, man. Like, I, I, to the best of my ability, bro. Abra says, ah, hey, Apostle Hart said, we got to do this to the best of your ability, right? And do you hear now you hear Nate saying, to the best of your ability, you got to follow the laws. I rather desire we doing this to the best of our ability, bro, that we are found um, reasonable. We are um, pleased by Yahweh Shemel Shah. Like Yahweh Shah was. I hope we are well pleased. Because this is this this is to this world, we are doing an unconventional thing. Alright? We are um not conformed to this world. Hey, I see it. I know they can see the difference because I feel the difference now, bro. I can feel the anger running through my bloodstream, man. I'm angry all the time. I hate this place, you know. And all I can hear is keep going. Certain songs up in my mind. I remember those days when um writing music, right? Or should I say, right? All the I I, did, I, wrote, I got a lot of songs. I did songs. Most of my songs, I just recorded it. I was recording, recording, because I, I never thought I was going to be in the studio how I was. I was kind of smooth at it. What I would do is, I would, I would swap so I can get songs done. I would, I would like, yo, I'll put you on TV. That's when television was, you know, they had the network. I will put you on TV, and you let me record. So I record, record, record. I said, I'll do a song with me. I'll just, whoever, they'll, they'll do songs with me. I'll add people in. So I'll get a lot of music. I got a lot of music done. And I never, and now when I look back at it, I say, man, I think the Lord wanted, you know, um, this is Satan's world. And how about Shemel Shah is going to see, he going to see if you're going to be um, a good um, servant for him. Like Caleb and Joshua. Go out there and scope the scene. And bring me back the information. And how we bring back the information by doing these videos. Get out there, put the videos out there. And if the whole four elect hear it, or they um so another individual hear it, they're gonna either be condemned or they're gonna be cleansed. And a lot of individuals came into the truth and they fell by the wayside. And I was just watching videos of a lot of brothers. That I was like, damn. You know, not even thinking about it. I'm like, oh, damn. This, I, I, you know, oh, man, I'll never see. I ain't see this brother. Well, this, this individual. Oh, man, this brother. Oh, man. Man. That shit scared the crap out of me. Because no one is here. A lot of individuals are not here now. You, uh, at this moment... You better hope Yahweh Shem Al Shah favors you. You better hope that the Lord Yahweh Shem Al Shah favors you. That you one of his favorites right now. Because it's 2024, the year of Jacob's trouble, and shit is on the rise. Shit's serious business right now, man. So it's a lot here. Alright, so I was all over the place in Salafi. 
Let's see if I can go back and find where I was at. So um, it says Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Yahweh Shemar Shah said he is with thee, with us. Be not dismayed. Be not, we can't be conformed to this world. Don't worry about this world. For I am thy power. He's our power. He's, he's our God. I will strengthen thee. We can't, man, like I just told you, I can't beat these people, man. These people are not playing fair, bro. Yo, it's, it's, it, oh, I ain't never saw some. Uh, at this point, there's no dragon on the fence, man. Either I'm one or I'm not. And that's one of my favorite lines, too. And I say that in um, confidence, yeah, but she don't shop. And I say it to just, I say it to, to, I say, either I'm one of yours or I'm not. I don't know what the hell to do no more. I'm not doing anything contrary to what I want. I'm going with what you want. And and I, I remember every time I try, I, I'm just going to tell you the truth, right? Every time I would try to like, um, hey, elder, 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 so Carl and Sakar said this one day. <laughs> and they played it, you know, when I got my car stolen, right? He said, he said, make, he said something to the fact when you make your plans, the Lord will laugh at you. He will laugh at you when you make your plan. Something to the fact like that. I forgot how he worded it, but Shalom was the elder Shakar. Oh, he said, oh, he said, he said, when you make a plan, the Lord will laugh at you. And I remember that week, man. I had a whole week off with pay for my job, and I had made a plan that I said I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get this money. And I'm going to make this other money. And then I had a plan. I said, oh, all the brothers that helped me, I'm going to try to get their money back so I can help them. You know? And my car got stolen. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I forgot to say Abarat I don't know. And I and every day I say Abarat Azar, Salakia. Yabashim, Shabash, And I remember that day and I called a brother. And I was telling him, he said, man, when you make a plan, man, the Lord would, he would laugh at you. <laughs> Something to the fact like that. And I, lied, I started laughing about it. And he said, he said, oh, you in a good spirit, though. I said, I don't know what to do, man. I can't, like, one thing I, I noticed that, being in this truth, that you can't, you are, it's out of your control. It's out of your control. It's all in your spirit. Y'all. It's all belongs to y'all. So I just said, that's what I, that's what my new line, I said, hey. You know, one of yours or you're not. So here I go again. Doing a video, this is what you want to do. You'll make it You'll make it flow through easy. You'll make it, however it comes out, it's how you want it. And the spirit of Yahweh Shah. So let's go to Isaiah chapter 41. I'm just making that whole full um, faith, whole full confidence, briefcase of faith. Because, um, Realizing that, you know, when I was in the world doing worldly things, yeah, I really, I really had problems. You know, you know, whatever I had, um, um, you know, I really didn't ask nobody for nothing. And I was just, you know, I gave way more. I helped, you know, people that probably didn't need no help, but, or they didn't care. They just wanted you to use, smoke weed, sell drugs. You know, get them. You know, be, and now we don't. Do, I don't do that no more. I don't know how other brothers' lives. I don't. I don't be hanging out in the streets. But growing coming in this truth, you start getting enemies from people that you thought that was your friend because you're not the same no more. So you're changing. You're unconventional. You know, you're not conformed to this world. And. Right now, we're at the point where we can't be dismayed at them. Because Yahweh Shem Shah is not going to help them if they're not coming to worship him. It's about to narrow itself down. So, fear not, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with thee. The right hand of my righteousness, and that's what we want. We need that, man. We need y'all, but you know, try to hold us up. Uh, 
Alright, hold on for five. So let's see what the next verse says. Check out. Oh, see. Oh, <coughs> oh shoot. Wow. Here go to here go to here's here, here makes it clarify right there. Verse eleven, behold, all they that were increased against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Ooh we that was terrifying right there. See? See, that's why are you insane? Like right now at this point, um every year Apostle Hall coins it a year. Since I've been in it, I heard um I don't know I don't know I, I think the first time was the year of destruction. He coined it. I don't know which one after it was you gotta go back. Every year he coined it a year. It was Spirit of Hashem El Shah. The year was um coined. Year of destruction, year of you know, a prophecy, boom. And now we're up to the year of Jacob's trouble. So, that's why we shouldn't be dismayed because of that second verse 11. He's going to hold us with the right hand and he's told you what he's going to do to the ones that thought they was the ones. Thought they could talk their crap. That's serious business right there. That's serious business. Alright, so. Alright, hold on. Let's go back. Where was that? Alright, alright, so let's go back to this one. It's. Yeah, so the lady, she was, um. <clears throat> like I said, she probably five, six years ago, I don't know. It's a lot of, it's a lot of women, a lot of things that happen like that. You know, let's lock it one second. It's a lot of um, individuals that mocked us back then. A lot of scoffers. I don't hear scoffers no more. You know, I don't hear scoffers no more. Tornadoes is rocking. Hurricanes is popping. And that's like, it don't matter. If, I, I got told, oh man, like I said this the other day. Master spiritual, bro. I truly believe this is how it was presented to me. Yahweh Shemel Shah showed me all the things that Ashashua was doing. I truly believe that. Up to 9, I remember 9-11. I was, I was in the house. I took the day off from work. And I was up in the house. And I remember prior before that, I had, you know, I was, I used to smoke weed. I had stopped smoking weed, right? I feel like it was off and on, off and on. I was going through it, man. This was before, um, you know, before I got in the truth, but I was going through it, you know. And you know, I started. I probably, I probably started smoking weed again. And the shit, you know, shit. That shit was. I don't know what it is now, but this is way back. I hate weed now. I hate that shit. I hate it with a passion, bro. I truly believe that God bless you, Mel Shah, been cutting the off, cutting the switch off, cutting it on, cutting it off and off and on. And he wanted me to be a, be a living sacrifice for him. He is making my reasonable service. And I truly believe that, man. I truly see that, that God bless you, Shah. And I need him to cut off a whole bunch of other shit around me. This, you know, <clears throat> hey, it's gonna be at a point. Hey, the book is so accurate, bro. Hey, it tells you in the scriptures that they used to kill us because we didn't eat pork. You understand? And all these damn demons around me, all they do is eat pork. So, are we supposed to be dismayed at that? Damn, they got a nice ham sandwich. Nigga, we ain't supposed to eat that shit. They got shrimp. They like, they like lobster. We ain't supposed to eat that shit. So we got we got so much to look forward to 
as a righteous kingdom. Our earth is being ruled by bad management. This is this company that's running the earth right now is fucked up. Our Joshua and the gang is fucked the earth up, bro. For real. Earth is jacked up. <clears throat> So the Lord made that woman prophesy something, gave her something, and then she said, Oh, man, it's going to be so bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad out here, baby. And all those that was talking shit are going to be dealt with. You know? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The he, them, they, you better hope you're one of them that get saved out of it. Because this shit about to hit the fan, bro. You know? We've been telling all you people that, um, get your act together, telling you to repent, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. There's a lot over here. This is going to be like a crime. Uh, uh, Jake on Jake crime and the rest of the nations but remember we are scattered abroad so we could probably if they coming in strong and know how to shoot them guns and don't be acrobats and shit jumping walls and shit that's been the best they seen the best and the brightest over here in Chicago <laughs> yo and them <laughs> from Venezuela them motherfuckers look like they know how to jump walls they know how to live off the fucking land Turn a rat into a rat sandwich. You know? They call people over in their country. They, they, they're the worst of the worst. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Chicago, and L.A. now. Y'all ain't nothing like them niggas. Them motherfuckers is gruesome. They ain't used to having television and, and internet. You niggas got, you got a, 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 a um, what y'all call it? They call it dicks and shit. Guns called dicks and all that. And got um, Dracos and shit. These motherfuckers, they, they turn a fucking, they turn something to a Draco. Go to the fucking hardware store and make, make guns and shit. Yo, it's about to go down over here in the Swiss America. This is why Apostle Hall was correct. Any, the salvation is coming out of America. Not anywhere else. People are gonna be saving other places, but this is the bulk right here. They coming, they coming over here, man. That's why the lady prophesied that. She said that in real time. Oh, it's gonna be bad out here. And when the brothers put that up, and then it is lo and behold, it's accurate. And we've been speaking about this at, long before 2007 by the apostles, but more so, um. Us added to the um to the um how that verse go um it says something to the you add to the prophets so they walk or something to the I can't think of the verse but we are adding on to it in righteousness not in our own filthy lucre people are going to have to make a decision. And it, 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 might, it might be too late. When I brought the Zab, you preserved. Well. Oh. Okay, so. Con. Well, I'll have to watch that a little later. Um, so Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 Wherefore my beloved As ye have always obeyed Not as in my presence only But much But now much more in my absence Work out your own salvation With fear and tremble And that's what you better be doing man Alright That's just
Right? That's what we're doing. For it is Yahweh which worketh in you both to do and to do. I mean, for it is Yahweh which worketh in you both to do and to do his good pleasure. And it's his pleasure. And it's our and it's my pleasure to do his will. And it's and the Wadi Yabba Shimon Shafa making me um a vessel. Because I I I wouldn't have this anywhere else, man. Like I wouldn't want to be doing anything else, man. So uh, let me see where I was at. Let's go back. We gotta end this video. Yeah, she's oh oh. Oh man, it's coming down. Oh, she all looking frantic. About to got the crying throat. I understand. All right. So, um, what was this word? Uh, I probably lost it. Come on, man. Hey, when it does that. Okay, hold on. Let's go back this way. I had a couple of words. But um unconventional, right? Right, unconventional. Unconventional. Yes. Not based on or conforming to which is generally done or believed. And that's what we have been doing. We have been unconventional. We are being we have been unconventional. You know? And it's turned out really, really great. It really did, man. And through the Spirit, the Lord has named our um, His uh, apostles, elders, and Achim, great millstone. I always thought about that. That was very spiritual way back. Yeah, man, it was. When I, I said, "Wow," and I could tell you a few other stories before that, that me using that word before I got into truth in my music. And I don't know, man. I, I, I still think I was called. I, I think I wasn't. And, man, a lot of things, bro. Like, a lot of things come to my mind all the time, bro. I'm like, what the hell? And I pray. I say, I say salakia to y'all, but I all the time. But it was my time when it was my time. It wasn't my time when even when I, it was just, you battling, it, man. You battling all these, the elements, the demons, the people, everything, man. And it is Yahaba. It's not you can't just say it's a God. It's Yahaba Shemel Shah is the name. Yahaba Shemel Shah. Alright, so um Okay, hold on. Let's go back here real fast. It says Romans chapter twelve, verse two. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye Transformed by the renewing, by renewing of your mind, that ye may be proved what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh El Shah. And there go our mission. Now, Abba out, we completed. There was a few other things I missed, but uh, this video went kind of long, so Salakia. So, there you have it, man. I got tons of things to speak about, but we're going to bring this to the end. I brought this out. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shah by Hashem El Kapodash. The water Yahweh Hashem El Shah for giving us apostles and the elders of great millstone deserve double honors rightfully so. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.